will need are a toothpick and the surgical sponge. So assuming that this is um, the real surgical sponge. So before doing the surgical hand washing, we will first perform the usual or normal hand washing. So let's turn on the water. We get our soap. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. 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 And rinse. Thinking, um, I think go through only once. You can actually move your fingers. We will proceed now to the surgical hand washing. We will get our toothpick and go in between our fingernails and clean it. And on the other side. And we should uh, discard this into the bin. We will now start with rubbing the sponge on our fingernails with 30 strokes. And then we will move on to the in between the fingers, 10 strokes each and in between. So 10 strokes here, 10 strokes here, ten strokes here, and another ten on the last. Moving on to the palm, we will do a circular motion and 30 strokes again. 30 strokes and not 30 seconds. So we will start with a small circle motion and up to a bigger one. Then the dorsal part, the same way. Small circle and then a bigger one. 30 strokes again. We will now proceed to the forearms. 10 strokes going down in a circular motion. Four planes, now the back. And the side. And to the other side. To the other hand now, do the same. So we're just going to repeat all the steps that we did on the other hand to the other hand. We're going to do 30 strokes on the nail, 10 strokes on each or in between each finger, We're going to do 30 strokes on the palm with a circular motion from a small circle going to a bigger circle. Same on the dorsal part, 30 strokes again and circular motion. And going down to the forearm, from the forearm to the elbow, you're going to do a circular motion and 10 strokes each for the front part of the forearm the back part of the forearm, the left and the right side of the forearm. After scrubbing with a sponge, we're going to discard it. We're now going to proceed to rinse our hands and our forearms. Remember that we should wash our hands to the elbow so that the water drips towards the elbow and not towards our hands because um, our hands will become contaminated again. We should keep our arms at at least 90 degrees angle to let the water flow down. After rinsing, we're just going to let the excess water drip and we're going to wipe with a clean tissue or a towel. 
Remember to turn off the water. So in the hospital setting, it is usually activated and turned off by the knee or foot pedal.